All right, today we're gonna to make the clipping path in Illustrator. We're gonna keep it really simple, but I'm gonna show you how to make a clipping path. So today we're gonna to use a butterfly shape, and I'm just making a very simple butterfly silhouette. So this is gonna be one side of our wings. I'm just gonna group these two together. Now I'm gonna to go to Reflect, Vertical, and Copy. Now that gave us a copy of our shape. Now I'm going to group both of these together. And now we can move these all together as one object. I'm going to now draw a body with the ellipse tool. And I'm going to have this shape selected and this shape selected and go to align. And let's align them perfectly. Now everything's centered. As you can see, these are now five separate shapes. We have four ovals here and the body shape. We want them all to be one shape. So we're going to go to Pathfinder and click Unite. As you can see, this has made these all one object. So this is the shape that we want to use and have containing a pattern inside of it. So essentially, this will be our clipping mask. What we want to do now is go to Layers Panel. And for this demonstration, this is the way I'm going to use it so you can see step by step what I'm doing. I'm going to copy this layer and now click Command 5. That creates a guide. You can also find that under View. But Command 5 is a keyboard shortcut to create guide. Now you can see our butterfly is no longer selectable. It's not a vector, it's simply a guide so we can see the edge of our path that we're using. So I'm going to click the ellipse tool and just make some simple dots. Now because everything outside of this path will be clipped out, we want to make sure to extend beyond the edge of the path with our shapes. So as you can see, I'm making sure to overlap the wing, and there we go. Now I also am going to want a color behind my butterfly, so what I'm going to do is go to the rectangle and draw a rectangle and being sure to go beyond the edges of my guide. I'm going to go here and color it orange. And now I'm going to do shift command left bracket, which is send object all the way to the back. You can also find that under object, arrange, send to back. Shift command left bracket once again is a keyboard shortcut for that. So now I have all of my objects that I want to use to have inside of my butterfly. We're going to go back to our other layer. We're going to hide this layer show our original layer, select our butterfly, and copy our butterfly. Hide our layer again and go back to our working layer. And now we're going to do Command F, which is paste in front. Now you can see it gave me a warning error. What that is is because I forgot here to select that I want to be on this layer. So make sure that you're selected that you're on layer 1. So now I'm going to do Command F, which is paste in front. So now our butterfly object is in front of all our other objects. I'm going to color it black so you can see easier, but this is the shape that we want to use. If I click here in my layers panel, you can also see that this shape is on top of all of the other objects. And at the very back, we have our orange rectangle. So now what we want to do to create the clipping mask is this shape must be in front of all the objects and all the objects must be selected. So now everything's selected and we're going to click Command 7, which you can also find as Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. Now we have a clipping mask. You can still see we have a blue outline here. That's simply our guide. We're going to do command colon, and that will hide the guide. So now we have a clipping mask. It can be moved around, 
And to get into it, to edit anything, you want to double click. And now you can see here we're inside the clip group and you can move the objects and edit them as needed. You can also move your mask around to reframe the entire composition. To get out of the group, simply double click outside of your clipping mask. Also, now that this is a clipping mask, if we make a rectangle and give it a fill, shift command left bracket, send to back, you can see that this butterfly can be moved around and that the background is transparent. So that's how you make a clipping mask in Illustrator. Be sure to like this and Share it with your friends.